Why, hello there, party people. Let's get back into it, shall we? When I left you yesterday, we had made some decent headway in the new map, Amandra, in the Kola Peninsula. But... Took a break, came back to it, had some slight hiccups while I was not recording the footage. There was many overturned trucks. There was much catastrophe. There was a lot of driving back and forth and bringing in some different trucks to right the wrongs I had inflicted upon myself in this harsh terrain. It was interesting. We'll put it that much. Because, hey, look at this. <laughs> the International is kind of up to its axles in water. And I don't want that container to float away. So let's... Let's let's make sure that container doesn't float away. I tried driving down this uh, little riverbed here. And, uh... Yeah, there, there, there really wasn't any great progress made from it. I don't know what I need this little container for, but... Something tells me I probably do need it. So I'm going to try to, uh, wedge it, I guess. So the interesting thing about the riverbed is that... There's a lot of rocks. And I don't know if this truck is fully capable of really getting down there. Because one of the other things I was doing was trying to scout this location to see if I could possibly transport some metal beams down this way to get the power substation up and running. I'm going to scrap the uh, off the idea board because it just really isn't working out. See if I can get further up this bank. Try to hook this guy a little bit more. I don't even know where I'm going to go with this truck, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay. We'll call that, uh, wedged. For the moment, anyways. Alright, so, currently... That's the power substation. The road winds all the way down to here, cuts across all the way to here, to our wonderful trailer store. That little guy right there, the Vorongrad, has some metal beams on it. The metal beams come from over here, which I had followed out of here down this path. And when you get to right about here, you get stuck. Completely. There is no getting out. You're just, you're mired in goo. So... I did manage to get the... Azov over here, because I had... cleared the blockage from here... with fuel barrels from somewhere over here. Oh, yeah. I get the fuel barrels from over here. And... <laughs> that looks suspiciously like a garage. It's got the two openings. It's got the building right there. It looks identical to a garage, but it's not a garage. Or at least it's not a garage yet. <laughs> There's still this chunk that's not opened over here. Uh, there's whatever's going on over here. Oh, uh, side note. 
there was an upgrade over here, which I managed to claw the Tega from here, cross, down through here, and did some serious rock climbing all the way up into here. And that's apparently some goofy church-looking thing. The Tega is pretty well busted up. We'll see how far we can make it. Who knows anymore. This map is grueling. This map is ridiculous. And, uh... <laughs> this map is a nightmare. Oh, and I also brought over... Oh, yeah. It's my F750. Oh, there's the other Azov right there. I did manage to park a couple vehicles. Oh, yeah. Right there. There's my P12 support vehicle. But let's see. We can't get the Voron Grad through here. All the way up and around. And at least get one shipment of metal beams. I don't even think I would have been able to successfully get a trailer down either one of those paths. I had considered going down this path and then shooting over down the water, but you saw where the Lodestar was, and I was just hoping that I might have been able to get it over here. That wasn't going to work. So, let's see if we can't get at least a single load of metal beams over there. I'm also considering bringing in some heavy hitters like one of the Kolobs, maybe the Cat 745C. And I saw some updates to one of the Freightliners. The steering has been fixed, apparently, in the 916, the 196, whatever, whatever the hell it is. Really short, stubby Freightliner that has god-awful steering. The steering that's like driving through molasses. If that molasses were thickened up with some concrete. And it was almost dry. So. Great. First issue here. Is this really how this is going to go? Yeah. Come on. Anything? Anything? Just pop it up. Just a little bit. Pop it up. Do you have any other winch points? No, that's our only winch point. Okay. Alright. The snow is awful. The snow is horrible. And, uh... I'm not a fan. a little bit more to the left, so maybe we can kind of pop it up over this way. Or, oh, idea. Bingo. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we get more leverage this way. Look at that. Now as long as we don't tip ourselves over, we're good. Speaking of tipping ourselves over, that's a very valid point because I don't have a single crane truck. Also, what is up with the tree across the road? Don't. Of course. Of course. Because that's what this map is all about. Come on, up and over. There we go. The 
really should bring a crane truck out here just for the hell of it. I did bring out my big A's off. So that's out here. But that's kind of at the beginning, but it's only got a flatbed on it. Probably, I realistically should bring out, yeah, something bigger. I also kind of feel like the Azov Arctic, the 4220, might actually do okay out here, but only on terrain where it's not going to flop it on its side which that thing's a little bit on the weird tipsy side and it's got that funny articulating cab and trailer section so it's going to suffer from the same problem as the Caterpillar 745C where I really don't know how well it's going to get down any of these trails although if I took like the 745C down these roads or 4220 Something tells me it would do pretty good. I don't think I'm going to bring the Western White Star out here. That would just make it cry. Dairy Longhorn 4520 is just... They still haven't done anything about the, the way underpowered engine that that thing has. So we'll leave that in there. Although I'm curious about that Freightliner... And the Longhorn 3145. Because apparently you can raise and lower the tag axle in it now. And I'm just kind of morbidly curious about that whole situation. Because that might actually be a halfway decent truck. Plus it looks cool. And it's got a neat paint scheme. I want a snowplow. That's what I want. Me a snowplow, maybe a truck with a sanding body on the back of it to make some of the stuff go away. Also, I'm making better progress than I thought I was going to. The real nightmare is going to be getting one of these trucks back and getting another load of steel beams. Not too particularly keen on that idea. So when I get this load out there, I might swap over to Lake Cove, hop over to the garage, and consider assembling another rescue crew and seeing where I go with that. More vehicles can't hurt. I mean, well, I guess they can. I guess logistically they could, if you had more vehicles than you had a supply chain for. But if I'm only capable of driving one vehicle at a time, the supply chain really doesn't matter. But yeah. And any... yeah. The, this whole map is punishing grueling and difficult as hell but it's balanced with this weird kind of serenity I mean look at that look at that view just the valley the mountain the trees yeah sure the you know never ending story death swamp and you lose your horse in it but <laughs> we won't go there right now Boron grad that could betray you. Beep beep. That's right. Keep on plugging. Most of everything that I brought out here has chain tires, just because of the obnoxious amount of ice. 
Although the, the Tega with the custom muds is supposed to do better on breakable frozen surfaces. But if you're hauling crap with it, you're just going to blast on through the ice anyways. Actually circling back to the never-ending story, if you had Falcor and he had a flatbed attachment on the back of them, you could easily transport these metal beams. But we don't have a princess. We don't have a book. We don't have that funky emblem with the snakes biting the snakes. Which, by the way, is called an Ouroboros. Figures into a lot of mythology. The whole idea of the snake eating its own tail, it's that whole kind of idea of death and rever... Re ah, yeah. I can say words. Words! The Ouroboros, the snake eating its own tail, is the whole concept of death and life. The, the flow of it. The circle of it. Lion King got that right, too. You know, they even have a song about it. Which I'm not going to sing because I don't sing. I mean, you can listen to me ramble about it, but I'm not going to sing it. Ooh, that would have been bad if that went over. Actually, Lion King, fantastic cartoon. Really, really good cartoon. I never bothered watching the remake, though. Most likely because I don't want my, you know, younger self's perception shattered by some company pooping all over. Well, you know, granted it's Disney pooping all over Disney, but what can you do? We'll take it one step further. Say you watched Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Michael Ironside. You know. Really great movie. Then you watch the most recent Total Recall. Colin Farrell. Kate Beckinsale. And the guy who played Walter White. Uh, Brian Cranston. It is god-awful. I don't understand what's going on in that movie. Um, there's just stuff. Uh, I don't know which one is more similar to the source material, which, if you are not aware... It's uh, Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And, I mean, it's a valid question, if you really kind of sink right down and think about it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. But it's like your toaster. If your toaster isn't on, is it dreaming? Is your toaster dreaming of slices of bread? White, wheat, rye, a little bit of scally bread. Yeah, put myself back up here. I could go for a pretty nice sandwich right about now. As long as that sandwich didn't... end up tipping me over. On my side. I'm dropping my cargo. Of metal beams. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That's just uncalled for. Yeah, I could go for, like, a really nice sandwich right about now. Some cold cuts, a little lettuce, really thinly sliced tomatoes. Definitely some pickles on that bad boy. Is the sandwich shaped by its condiments, or are the condiments shaped by the sandwich? I believe that's a valid 
like straight up metaphysical level type question to really consider. I feel like I have to focus less on uh, the tomfoolery and shenanigans at hand, and we can get into more questions like that. That's right, get over those rocks. Because we did our first initial impressions of Emandra, the new map, yesterday. Oh, took me about half a tank of fuel to get over here. And look at that. Here's my Azov, my 5319. Chillin' by a busted bridge. And there's two containers in the water. I probably have to go get those at some point in time, too. Because some lazy jerk decided to, like, not listen to OSHA or follow any kind of safety regulations and probably didn't tie them down correctly or use the properly, uh, uh, proper cables and latches and everything else. Top off that good old gasoline right there. Okay. And that's one. <laughs> that is one steel beam. Actually, come to think of it, where can I get steel beams if I'm bringing vehicles from... Well, let's think about this, though. If I'm bringing steel beams from Lake Cove to here, where do we gotta go? So... no, that, that wouldn't work. So we come in here. Um, come across there. You know, something tells me that really wouldn't work effectively. Oi, oi, oi. I don't know. Yeah. It just looks so simple on the map. From there to there. That's, that's all you gotta go. But you can't. You gotta go all the way down and all the way around. And you gotta slog through the ice, and you gotta slog through the garbage, and you gotta slog through everything that makes it miserable. So, let's go, and let's see what other kind of goodies we can drum up from our garage. And while we do that, I'm going to have a sip of this tasty beverage, this, this cola beverage. Actually, I wasn't intentional. I'm not drinking cola because I'm on the cola peninsula. That's, um, that just sounds dumb, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm drinking it because it was conveniently in the refrigerator, and it tastes like cherry vanilla, which is good. You should do yourself a favor. And, you know, try some of it. Cherry vanilla. Can't go wrong. Unless you're allergic and then you blow up like a tick. And you can't breathe or anything like that. That would be unfortunate. Okay. So. Also, let's check the local map. Where would we get... Although I think steel beams are... I think the steel beams are over here. If they're even over there or something. They're probably somewhere. Hell, wait a minute. If they were here, yeah, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Where do we put the twin steer? There was the twin steer. That was kind of fun. Okay. So the seventy-three ten. Let's bring this back to the garage because we don't need to have it in the way outside the garage every single time I go to try to get around it. All right, move to garage. Truck storage. <coughs> truck storage, not store. Now, let's consider... See, look at that. Look at that. See the axle? See it? Tucked up right there? You know, I, I have to go take this thing out. I gotta see what that's all about.
So it's got always on, all wheel drive, and differential lock. It does have a little bit of pep to it. Wait a minute. Change suspension mode. What's this? Oh, no way. It raises it up? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. No way. I might just take this just for the hell of it. Did pretty good right through there. I'm, uh... Seem to... Lowers the whole damn thing. This already has chain tires on it. Although I would need a trailer to haul some stuff around. Oh. I don't like when we do that. Also, right along. Boom! That's right. Let's go break stuff. <laughs> this thing is chugging. Oh, yeah. Suspension is broken. <laughs> fuel tank is also broken. And now we're just... We're puking fuel out. Tires. Yep, we got a flat tire. Look at this. We're still powering right along. Although I don't think we're going fast enough anymore to be able to... Okay, so what happens when we change the suspension mode? No. No, okay. Alright. That was, um... Whoa! Huh. Yeah, we'll store that bad boy. Well, hey there, Highlander 2000. Let's see. You know, that might be... That might be a truck I might take. Okay, let's go back to... Let's go back to the heavy trucks. So, I want... Mm, it is going not too bad right about now. Thank you for asking. I do appreciate that. I'm gonna take a couple of vehicles back out there. Considering... What if we put... See the... The Azov's too top-heavy. Azov's way too top-heavy. Uh, the failure of the Dairy Longhorn 4520. We're not going to dip into that. So tell you what we're going to do. I like the fuel tank on the Caterpillar. Because who doesn't need fuel? Everybody needs fuel. Alright. So, because this thing is <laughs> so slow... Maybe we'll just have to put this thing on a trailer. So we'll bring this down to my staging area down here. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. Park you there. Back to the garage. Now we want... You know, I kind of want one of the collabs, but I also really want to try some of the other stuff. I am currently on the new map. Um, well, right now, I'm in my garage bringing stuff to the new map. The new map is a nightmare. <laughs> Plain and simple. Alright. 
Did I put a high saddle on this? Does this have a high saddle? You know, I probably should have checked that before I left. This has a saddle high. All right. In the garage. So I am currently transporting more vehicles over to the Amandra map. I've got a decent selection over there at the moment, but I think I need more. I think I need some heavy hitters. I think I need this Colob. I think I want my Caterpillar 745C over there. I want some vehicles that can actually haul some stuff. Yeah, I'm currently working on opening up the garage. I successfully managed to deliver only a single set of the steel beams because that was just a pain. That was a damn pain getting it from the steel warehouse back down to anywhere that was usable. So now I'm just gonna kinda take a whole bunch of vehicles. Whoa! Man, that thing's big! That is one gigantic... yeah. Huh. I don't think there's any ramp on it, though. I'll have to check. Heavy-duty low boy trailer, but that's only three... Uh, eh. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I haven't really dove into any of the, the new stuff. Mostly I've just been kind of poking around the map, getting stuff unlocked, trying to clear my routes and, and paths and everything else. Oh. I can get metal beams from there, but you know what? I'm going to make it hard on myself. And uh, I'm going to get the metal beams from the map. So I will put the Caterpillar 745C on the back of this trailer, and then I will winch along, maybe I'll winch along a uh, crane vehicle, just because I want to take all kinds of stuff with me. I do like... big vehicles that will just crush everything. So I'll just kind of poke along and get back down to my staging area over here. Load the Caterpillar up, then I'll bring down a crane truck. here. Alright, brakes. Oh yeah, that's right, mud tires. <laughs> that's right, mud tires on ice. Alright, drop the ramp. Uh, actually, you know what? Okay, we'll bring down my... Uh, we'll bring down a... Uh, do the other Azov, I think. No, nope, none of that. I kind of want to use the Dairy Longhorn, too, because now that it actually has that tag axle that you can lift, that's game changer. Hmm. That doesn't have the best ground clearance on it. But you know what? I do like the Sazov, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I should probably turn on my headlights too. This is a hell of a crane rig. The rear steer tires are pretty awesome. Okay, so... But I also heard that they changed the steering in the Freightliner. Off-road. 
Is it off road? Yeah, the one. No, not the one before the. Uh, where'd it go? Nine one six A one. If the steering is better in this thing. Got a really short wheelbase, huh? You know, the steering is infinitely better on this one. Man, so many new things to try. Go figure. bad boy up and see if we can't make some yeah that's right stupid articulated steering see if we can't go getting ourselves stuck a lot you know something tells me I shouldn't be doing this on ice Which, apparently, <laughs> that is exactly why we shouldn't be doing this on ice. <laughs> okay, so we'll back up just a little bit. <laughs> because we really didn't think this through now, did we? <laughs> Collab's a hell of a vehicle. So I'm going to straighten you out. Fuck the ramps up. Trying to get back. So this is a really nice trailer to sort of back up. If only they were all this easy. Okay, park and brake. Activate the ramp. Oh yeah, swap vehicles. Caterpillar. Headlights. Okay, plan B. Plan B. This may fail hilariously, but uh, we'll give it a shot, right? Oh, we can activate the anchor from this screen. That's kind of cool. We out far enough? Yeah. Okay. So. Beepity boppity boopity. Maybe I kind of. Get too close. Lift 
trước hmm. Ok, so hmm. Plan B. Converse. All right. How does that hiss and noise? Hopefully, I don't have a leak somewhere. Okay. Change truck. He's off. The uh, put the A's off in the back, maybe. No, 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 no. <laughs> Already. So, uh, that's that. so I maybe don't slip and slide around. And then let's consider a different vehicle to put on the back of this because <laughs> both of these have been failed attempts. Okay, parking brake. Drop the ramps. And back to the garage. Okay. See how far we can get with the collab, and then maybe I'll just have to kind of drag stuff around with the Cat 745C. Probably the most cockamamie loading situation that I could have got myself into. Oh, see, see, there we go. Not that we don't need this Azov any closer.
Oh, come on. Parking brake. Attach. Winch. Two. Lob. Activate the ramps. Oops, that's a little, a little too close there, buddy. Alright, try that again. Twinch. Okay, what do we want our route to be? We can go the same up here, up here, and there. Cross, cross, there, there. See, this is where it gets dicey right through here. And let's just kind of wing it this way. Yeah. Let's try to get the land train going. Hopefully this Tatran doesn't fall off. That would be unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> now that we've had our minor issues out of the way. Minor issues being... <laughs> getting stuff simply loaded onto a trailer to bring over to the other map. I probably could have ferried stuff back and forth by now. to watch a train wreck, just watch me load a trailer. You can back the damn trailer in all day long. Put stuff on top of it? Nope. Stuff with giant tires? Cat 745C? Put it on a trailer? Nope. Granted, I <laughs> shouldn't be loading a trailer on ice like this. That's just a dumb idea all around. Hey, look at that! Mysterious floating ice chunk. The aliens have arrived. Gravity has become non-existent. But then again, who needs gravity anyways? We're in a video game. I mean... I guess you kind of need gravity, but... The theory known as gravity. question becomes where to cross. Maybe here? Do it. Do it. Do it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See? Colab. Do I need to go this way or do I need to go the other way? Yeah, I should probably 
pay more attention to where I'm putting my points. Well, the Kolob with a 380 liter fuel tank should do pretty good, all things considered. And the Tatran has a little bit extra fuel on board as well. Yes, I would have liked to have taken the 745C, but that's more of an afterthought. Although I think I need something with a low saddle if I want to carry around the giant fuel trailer that's over on the next map. Maybe I'll take the Freightliner over. Freightliner with, uh... Yeah, Freightliner with the Caterpillar in tow. I'll give that a shot. Shall we? <laughs> this video will probably be just mostly ferrying video uh, vehicles from point A to point B. Which, I mean, I had hoped that it wouldn't, but... Hey, that's... That's this whole flying by the seat of your pants tomfoolery. We're just going to make it work. And I say that as the ice is groaning and cracking underneath of us. And luckily, this is the type of ice that's not going to break. But I kind of wish it did. Just the, the potential to have things just sploosh right on through. All right, let's get hung up here. Oh, yeah, we're crawling across rocks. Everything's getting hung up on rocks. Maybe I shouldn't be driving across these rocks. is bouncing around a little bit. I think it's shifted slightly. Although the nose is no longer up on that edge there of the trailer. But hey, let's uh, let's see how far we can get. I do like the sheer size of the Kolobs. They're just cool vehicles. And I wish there was more for giant vehicles like this to do. Also, I wish there was an option to change the type of tire. Like, I love the giant tires on it, but if you're going into a place with predominantly, you know, covered in ice, then mud tires really need to be upgraded with tire chains. Although it really wouldn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense to take a Dairy Longhorn 30, 3145 and, and bring up the Freightliner 916. Because they both have saddles and they don't have beds or anything like that, so... Eh. But I want to use them all. But I could probably see what they do if I ever open up this godforsaken garage. We doing back there, Azov? Yeah, look at this. This thing's just a monster, and it's <laughs> it's not even chowing down all that much fuel. That's the surprising part. I mean, you hop in the Navistar and. You don't even put a load behind it. You just get it stuck in the mud, and it will chew through upwards of 30 liters of fuel a minute. And that's just kind of ridiculous, especially when you're... <laughs> in some of the situations I've gotten the Navistar stuck in. Well, we're not going to talk about that right now. That's a cool profile. That's a hell of a cool profile. All right, let's also pay attention to where we're going so we're not going to knock into one of these phone poles. Uh, not like I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. Yeah, 
if it has gone wrong, I've probably made it go wrong. So which way do I want to go? Let's see if I jump down there too early, I'm going to get stuck in the ice. But... Yeah. Let's see. If I go along this way, everything's going to camp to the side. And it's going to do this. Oh, 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 oh. You've got to be kidding me. does. Into a flat spot, maybe. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> Don't tell me I just messed up both of them back there. Okay, so... Let's, uh... I'm going to get down to some flat ground right over here. And, uh... Go the... Hang on. Kind of funny because usually it's my Tatarin that's the recovery vehicle. Okay. So, put that behind. Catch the winch to the back. Come on, just flip it over. Flip it. Flip it. Truck. And away we go. Oh. I popped a tire on the Tatarin. No wonder. How the hell did I... I'm not going to ask questions. Change truck. Collab. Activate ramp. Remove cargo. I shouldn't have brought a crane truck and I should have brought a repair vehicle instead. Huh. Maybe if we winch from there. Oops. Winch. Winch, winch that. Change truck, coal up. Of course, it's going to detach. So, activate ramp. Is that going to? Oh, yeah. Let's do that.
Oh, but it's gonna try to climb the... Seriously, dude. Winch. Change truck. Back to that one. Check our map reference. Okay. All right. Let's see how badly we can screw up the rest of this. Fuel, which isn't terrible. Oh, uh, yeah, that was the Azov, wasn't there? I mean, I guess I'll. Through when we get up here, if we get up here, <laughs> and totally botch this nightmare. Oh yeah, we get these little whoops up here. Um. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's find out. Alright. I guess needless to say, I really don't want to be on any small tight trails which is exactly what we're doing right now Let's winch all right there we go As long as we don't get hung up. As I was saying, <laughs> we don't get hung up or get this junk knocked off. All right, was that the way we were gonna go? Yes. We we're gonna try cutting across this way, which I typically don't do. Turn. All right, let's see how bad this is through here. Someone has obviously been here, you know, through here before, but sure as hell wasn't me. And I'm down to a third of a tank of fuel. And that damn thing's tipping off the side. Man, I guess this wasn't a terrible shortcut. Let's just get back over to the road. Which is over there. Let's 
try not to get hung up on any rocks now, shall we? Is that okay, Mr. Trailer? And the Tatran is probably going to go ass over tea kettle. All right. You don't want to stay on the trailer? <laughs> You're coming with me. bad for the Azov. He's just kind of chilling out in the middle of nowhere. I think what I will do is bring a fuel trailer out next. No, no, no. Right. Bounce off guardrails with these giant jelly tires. Mmm, jelly donut. You know, there's a particular coffee company that actually makes jelly donut flavored coffee. Oh, what are you doing back there? It's actually really good coffee. I mean, I guess you'd have to be a fan of jelly donuts and coffee. But usually doesn't want to eat a jelly donut with coffee. Okay, so. <laughs> let's travel to the new map. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. All right, and we look at this wonderful loading screen. And I don't know why they have uh, the crane truck trying to load or move concrete slabs because you obviously cannot rebuild this bridge. You don't have a structural engineer. You need um, surveyors, lots of planning, a lot more than one crane truck. There's a lot that goes into that. Not just a dweeb like me in a truck with a crane and some material. Alright. Get it. Get it. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so. Alright. Park and break. That. Uh, yeah. Google map. Lake Coved. We will pick the poor, unfortunate Azov that got left behind. Well, I mean, we didn't intentionally leave him behind. He just kind of got left behind, so it's not my fault. It's really not my fault. Okay, maybe it is a little bit my fault, or it could secretly be my fault, but, um... What do you want to say? I can't say nothing. I'm just going to sip a little bit more on my delightful cola. That's right. So now... Oh, 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 see? That's exactly the type of bad stuff that happens. Okay. Let's... Let's shoot for this gap right here and not have to... Cruise along this tomfoolery. 
<laughs> now let's see if we can get the crane truck through that stupid trail. Ugh. Okay, this is... gonna be... Yeah, those outriggers are gonna get hooked on just about everything. Actually, you know what? I could use a Dairy Longhorn, uh, too far over, and bring, like, a big semi-trailer of fuel over here. And what else could I take over here? Yeah, instead of the Cat 745C, even though realistically the Cat 745C would probably do significantly better on some of these terrible trails. I really want to use the Dairy Longhorn. But I also need a repair trailer. Like a dedicated repair trailer. Because the service trailer is nice. It's just that it doesn't have enough repair points. It's got plenty of fuel, but it just it just doesn't have enough repair points. I like this thing. It's pretty cool. Look at that. I'm kind of kind of bashed in the front end a little bit. It's kind of let's see. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you have bumpers. And that's why big trucks have big bumpers. Because you make big mistakes with them. <laughs> mistakes which can't easily be corrected sometimes with a, a hammer and a pry bar. Ugh. We'll keep going. I mean, I guess realistically, I could have opened up the entire map yesterday if I had dedicated the entire day yesterday to attempting to open up the map and just driving around. But that doesn't even include the garage. That's insane. You know, watch what kind of needless recklessness I got into yesterday. Well, I could always do a fuel semi and then do a repair trailer on a winch behind it. Oop. I'm stuck. Ah! See, that's what I hate. Although they did a pretty good job of fixing that little funky hitchin, hiccupin kind of... Oh, that's a foam pole. So it got better. And the coal lobs actually got better as well. So the chin on a lot of these more low-slung vehicles don't dig into the ground nearly as much as they used to. Which, I mean, it's a godsend, because now you can actually use the vehicles off-road for their intended purpose instead of driving around on paved roads like this, where you could simply use, like, the cab over Ford CLT 9000 or whatever the hell it is. Boop. <laughs> and off to the new map. And look at that. There's a Voron. Voron A. Concrete slabs in the back. And an Azov. But granted, the Azov doesn't have the same paint scheme. I would go with that Voron's paint scheme because I am a huge fan of red and black. They are complementary colors. Like Buffalo Check Flat. You know? A little bit of red, a little bit of black. Buffalo check. Okay, 
So we have half a tank of fuel in this thing. This only has a 350 liter. Okay. There's no real good staging area here either. So we're just going to kind of kind of gum up the works. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we wasted enough time <laughs> getting all this crap over here. We've got a high saddle on the Kolob. That thing can drag around a, just a bunker. Got the Tatarin, which should hopefully go through some of this deeper snow and mud, as long as that doesn't get hung up. But I'm kind of hesitant about that. Got the Azov, the crane truck. The only thing is, the Kolob's not running chain tires. Tatrin's not running chain tires. And I need another fuel truck and another repair truck. Because my... That stuff's over here. P12 with a service body. And then the semi. What does that take? Does that take a high saddle? I think that takes a high saddle. All right. So, this is what I have going for me right now. See that giant chunk? Don't even have that. And what I want to do is broken power station. Which, yet again, pick them up there, drop them off there. Should be easy. Way not easy. Alright. So for now, we're going to log off for a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe get some dinner. Wash down that, that cola with some dinner. <sighs> what are you all having this evening? Considering it is evening where you are, because we're, what, Eastern Standard right over here? But I'm hungry, so I'm going to log off, and I will catch you all on the flip-flop.